Hey guys, Lag here, and I just want to give you a little bit of advice on doing trades for your game. The first thing I want to talk about is upgrading the trades that are already on your gear. So for example, my pants, I already have two trades on it. I maxed out mana. I just got a drop for pants that have melee evasion and I do want to upgrade my melee evasion. When you go into equipment enchanting and you click on traits and you put that in there, this will pop up. You see that now it will give you a chance to upgrade or it will give you blessing, right? It gives you 10% blessing. And you're going to have to do that a couple times before this maxes up. So a good idea before you invest into doing blues, in, if you want to go the auction hot route, is just check what that particular trait is selling for. So you just click on this and you click on the trait list. Click on melee evasion here. And we can see that the purple melee evasion sells for 148 and that is a guaranteed upgrade whereas if we just filter and look at the pants that we have in our inventory um and we click on legs there we go these sell for 20 a pop now that's not really a good trade-off let's say you need five that's already 100 and these are 148 so really literally what you need to do is just work out the cost benefit ratio if it's worth investing into the purple to get a guaranteed upgrade or you want to rough it with the blues all right so let's just purchase this and we go on ahead with the extract that we just purchased and we can now upgrade that 100 percent without the need for any blessing and you just do that three more times and you will max out your trick now let's take a look at the crossbows so i have the rex crossbows here and i have attack speed now if we were to go to the auction house and look for attack speed on those crossbows you can see they're going to cost me a pretty penny now this is where you might want to trade off and use the blues because these aren't usually this cheap but if they are anywhere below 100 let's say they sell for around 50 and you can get away with spending 500 lucent instead of a thousand lucent then I would say that that would be the better route to take to upgrade the traits. Now, if we come back here into traits, I want to add another trait onto my pants. And I can either unlock the traits selectively, which I would advise on holding off on because trait stones or trait unlock stones are hard to come by and it costs 50 of those. And I'm just going to go to the auction house. Once you're in the auction house, type in the name of what you're looking for and you don't have to buy the piece of gear itself. You don't have to get a second drop. You can actually use the extracts and I want to put debuff duration minus 1.5 and that is selling for 183 right now. So I'll go ahead and purchase that. Now as I come back into my equipment enchanting, I put my piece of gear in there. Now I can just unlock that for 75k Solent. So I know a lot of people tell you you need the exact name, but they forget to specify that you could use an extract of the piece of gear, which is often a lot cheaper than the lithograph or the piece of gear itself. Alright, well I hope that wasn't too confusing and it helped you in some way. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.